In grammar this week, we're going to be talking about proper mechanics, using capitalization, capitalization and punctuation correctly, and also um, how to use a comma um, before a coordinating conjunction when we're looking at compound sentences. So we're going to start um, with capitalization and writing titles. We're also going to do end punctuation today. So I'm going to do the teaching portions of these two lessons, and then I am going to give you your reader's notebook pages for further practice with these uh, mechanics. Okay, So you should pay attention to the proper mechanics as you read and you write. Mechanics include capitalization, punctuation, and conjunction usage. Okay, um, The first word, the last word, and each important word in a title should be capitalized. Okay, Titles of books, magazines, and newspapers are underlined and titles of short stories, poems, songs, and articles are surrounded by quotation marks. Okay, so here's examples of capitalizing the first, last, and each important word. Here is my trip to Mars. Two is not an important word. Here's a song, Johnny the Spaceman. The is also not important. We would underline the book title my trip to Mars, where Johnny the Spaceman would just have quotation marks around that title. All right, our thinking question, um, to decide how a title should be capitalized and if I should underline the title or use quotation marks, I would ask which words in this title should be capitalized and does this title name a long work or a short work? Okay, so the title, um, My Trip to Mars, is important. It's a book, and so it should be underlined, like we saw in the example. Okay, a song is a short work and just gets quotation marks around it. So let's um, work on a few of these examples. Okay, let's look at one and two. So this is a poem, Travel in Space. Which letters in travel in space would you capitalize? The T in travel, right? Do you need the I in in? Right, that doesn't need to. That's not an important word, but our beginning and our end word are very important. Okay, in is not a very important word. Um, Without it, it would sound silly, but it's not an important word and doesn't need to be capitalized. So this is a poem. If we capitalize the T and the S, what do we do with our poem? Do we underline it or put quotation marks around it? Right, this would be in quotation marks, okay? Number two is Sky and Star. This is a magazine. Again, which letters would you capitalize? We know the first and last one needs to be. So we need sky and star. Does the word and need to be capitalized? No, it doesn't. And this is a magazine. So is this title a law is this a long work or a short work? Do we underline it or put quotation marks around it? Right, quotation marks is what we need. Okay? So let's talk about this. This article here would also be what? Would it be quotations or underline? Okay, it would be quotations. Good job. What about this work of art? This work of art would be underlined. How about this newspaper article or newspaper or daily space news? Would that be underlined or quotation? Right, it would be underlined, and actually, I'm seeing that the magazine, I said, should be in quotes, but it absolutely should be underlined. Okay, that's a longer work. A magazine is a longer work, so that needs to be underlined. Okay, so now we're going to move into um, end punctuation. Some punctuation marks the end of a sentence. A period, okay, ends a statement. Margie wrote in her diary, period, ends a statement. Okay, a question mark ends a question. Do you have a diary? 
and an exclamation point ends in exclamation. Okay, so um, to decide which of these three kinds of end punctuation marks I should use, I would ask these thinking questions. Okay, what kind of sentence is it? Does the sentence tell something, ask a question, or show excitement? Okay, and we saw in the example that the first sentence was a statement, so we have a period. The second sentence asked a question, so we use a question mark. And the third um, sentence expresses excitement about diaries, so then we use an exclamation point. Okay, so let's look at a few of these and decide what is the correct end punctuation mark. So let's read number one. How did Margie feel about school? Well, this how right here is a clue that this is a question. So we're going to end this sentence with what? If it's a qu asking a question. Right, a question mark. Super easy. Let's go number two. The pages in the book were yellow and crinkly. This is just a statement. We're going to end it with a period. Okay, number three. Look at that old book. Right, it's an exclamation. Look at that old book! Exclamation point. Okay, if you feel that you need more practice, you can pause the video now and work through the rest of these with your learning adult. If you don't um, feel like you need more practice, you're ready to go, I will get you started on your reader's notebook pages. So page 331 is where you're going to practice capitalization and writing titles. You are going to rewrite each sentence, add the capital letters, underlining, and punctuation where they are needed. Okay, so the headline in Friday's newspaper read, Clowns Lead Parade. Okay, this is an article in a newspaper. This is just a story. So we need to capitalize, obviously, the C in clowns. Um, lead is an important word. It's not a word like and or of. Okay, and then parade also needs to be capitalized. And they already have it in quotation marks for you. Okay, so you're going to work through the rest of these and decide where you need to underline, capitalize, and punctuate. You can use the thinking question that's up here in the box. And then you're going to head over to page 332 where you will add the correct end mark for each sentence. Um, and then you're going to write declarative, interrogative, imperative, or ex exclamatory on the line. And declarative is a, is, a, um, is a period and so is imperative. And interrogative is a question and exclamatory is a exclamation mark. Your thinking questions are here. Um, let's do number one. A voice command can make the mechanical dog walk and sit. What is this? It's declaring something, right? Um, it's not commanding, it's just declaring something. So this would be um, a period. You're going to add a period, and then you would write declarative on the line. You're going to do that for two through eight, and make sure your learning adult checks your work.